Hello. Hi. So, uh, we're just sitting up here and getting up, uh, get, just getting set up here. So, uh, kind of here a little early this time rather than a little late so that we can start right at seven o'clock. Um, so whoever sees me up here live and come on in and sit down and, uh, enjoy the, uh, shiny ball head. Got some hair growing, but, um, it's kind of shiny. Look at that glare. See the glare out there? Look at that. Like a uh, like a wood floor, like it's been shine, spit shine. You know? Y'all don't know about that, man. I'm gonna get that dab on y'all, cause y'all don't know about that there. Y'all don't know about oh wait, hold on. Um Miss Jalissa, you guys don't know about that there. Did I say that right, Jalissa? You guys have no clue on What's going on on top of this head right there? You don't know. <laughs> uh, we got two minutes, guys. Uh, invite anybody. Hello, Roxanne. Guys, invite the people on in here for those that I can't see. Hello. Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. Big hug. And see it. I do not have booger. Wait. See it. I do not have any boogers up in my nose. So if I want to get close to the screen, I can get close and you have no reason to sit up here and interrupt it by saying they got boogers. One more minute, guys, and we're going to start the Friday night off. Awesome. Go ahead and invite as many people as you want to because we have to uh, push each other. When it comes down to this deadly, crazy disease, illness, or whatever it may be that we're going through right now, guys. Ah! It is 7 o'clock. And if you're not ready, who are all that's in here? I am. And today is Friday. You know what Friday is? Friday. What's today, guys? What is this show called? See if anybody knows. Anybody knows? Anybody? Can anybody tell me what the show is? Huh? It's almost 701. Let me see if somebody's gonna do it before 701. See if somebody's gonna say what it is before 701. 701 is almost here. Is anybody gonna say? Nope. They say, hey, Jalissa, anybody's gonna put. Do you guys not know what the day is? Y'all not know what the show is? Have you been watching this many Fridays and not know? Ah, there we go, Mr. Alyssa. Well, I do thank you. I thank you so very much. Well, um, Roxanne, that is the title. But that is also great that you know what the title is. So it is Fierce Friday, guys. And Elf Elf, Miss Scott, you're totally correct. Elf Elf, Fierce Friday. And um, this is your favorite MS Warrior here, Mr. Laron. For those guys, for the guys that know me, like school wise, it's Laron and and it's, it's kind of country. Um, but call me whatever. No, don't call me whatever. Call me anytime. Um, the topic today, as Miss Roxanne said, accepting your diagnosis. Is there anyone watching right now that has not accepted the fact that they've been diagnosed with MS? Not saying is there's anything wrong with that, but is anybody's watching right now that can sit and say that they they have yet, regardless of how long they've been diagnosed, they have yet to accept the fact that the doctor has told them that they have multiple sclerosis. Now I'm gonna see if anybody's. Right now, I'm showing six people watching, but I, I know there's more. Uh, and for those that are coming in, I do totally appreciate you guys coming in. And thank you for watching. So, I don't have anyone popping up just yet. So, that means that you guys, to a certain degree, have accepted the fact that you've been diagnosed with MS. And maybe years ago, you were in 
denial. You couldn't accept that. But now you are looking at to um, what last week, last week, right? Last week was basically about no excuse. I got MS, MS, you know, MS don't have me, right? So I was looking at, uh, as I was saying, I don't know if you guys heard me to break into the uh, episode that Fridays, I'm doing more of a push, more of a strengthening of us, more of a fight, fierce. That's where the fierceness comes in. Can't do anything about it? Not the diagnosis. No, you cannot do anything about being diagnosed with MS. Once they diagnose you with MS, until they find a cure, uh, there's nothing that we can do. It is what it is, but you can make something out of it, and that's where we're falling short at. And that was part of me starting what I did last week, which was um, the no excuse. I have MS, okay? Now, the fact that you have MS and MS doesn't have you now, you have to accept that because we have people out there that, and you're newly diagnosed, I totally understand. I totally understand. And that's why we need other people. That's why we need to hear from us. We need to hear from us. We have other people out there just like us that are sitting in a corner crying, depressed, don't know what to do with the fact that the doctor just sat and said, listen, your life is over. You can't do anything. You can't have fun with your kids. <clears throat> Hell, you can't do anything with your spouse. Your family is just done. You might as well hang it up because you have this illness that ain't no cure in. And matter of fact, I don't want even want to deal with you. I'm going to go send you to another person. I'm your primary doctor. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and let a neurologist have you. You know, and... You the neurologist, depending on which one you get, is like come and tell you that you're crazy. You're just loopy because there are some neurologists out there that still feel that MS is not a disease, let alone an illness or a diagnosis. So hopefully no one that's watching goes to a doctor that tells them that you're all, you're just crazy. I'm not sure what you're feeling. I'm not sure what you're sensing. I'm not sure what you're seeing. And I've heard this, sadly, but I've heard it. I've heard a lot of warriors sit up and tell me, my doctor just sat up and told me that it was all in my head. So you're trying to tell me that I got drop foot, my, my foot feels like lead and I'm dragging it. And you're telling me that's in my head? So obviously you're saying that I'm playing around with people and dragging my foot because I want to be like in a scary movie. And I'm um, like one of those little zombified people and it's just dragging, you know, dragging. And, and why would I want to do that? Anybody that does that just to get attention, shame on you. I'm saying it yourself. You should be ashamed of yourself if you're actually doing that. And I'm not saying that there's not people out there in the world that's faking what they have because we've seen it on TV. It's plain and simple. But I don't think you would want to... Well... Hmm. Let me take that back. People are crazy these days. But still, the fact being, I don't want to go into the doctor office and tell a doctor that I've been feeling fatigued like heck, tired, I can't see. And I just had an exam the other day and the doctor told me I got, I got 80, 80, 20, 20, I, I got 100, 100. And you telling me that I'm lying? Come on, bro. No. Get out of here, right? You got to say some comments, so I got to go back and look a little bit. My bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, let's see. Okay. Uh-huh. And everybody that's coming in that I haven't seen yet, I do apologize. Hello. Hello. Jenny um said that yeah, being diagnosed was sad and and a relief. She's sure most can relate. Yes, sad, but a relief because now you're sitting and you're like, dang, I know what's wrong with me. 
But then you have that group like, I don't want that to be what's wrong with me. I don't want none of this and I'm just not going to accept it. I can't do it. Do you know how my life was? Do you know who I am? Do you know what I used to be? And the fact that now I can't do it anymore, you're trying to tell me it's because of this? And you tell me it's not no cure, so that means, and then you're telling me I'm not going to get better? Come on. So, Laron, you're telling me to accept something that tells me that I'm done for. My life is over. Why am I going to accept that? All right. My baby, Miss Mason, is 25 years, and she's an OG. And there's a lot of OG of y'all up in here. Get in my country. Mississippi Tone. There's it's some OGs in here. Some old gangster MS warriors up in here that's been holding the fork down. And I know you guys back in the days didn't talk about it. Because it wasn't something to talk about back then. And we got to change that. We have to change that. I'm way behind on comments, guys. I do apologize. Oh, look at Mr. Sexy Mario come in. Mario, don't tell your wife that I said that. Mr. Sexy Mario comes in, you know, uh, I think he's saying 23 years. You saying you've been in you've been in the game for 23 years, Mr. Mario? Is that what you're saying? Um... Uh, What's a new feature? What new feature? Then like Jalissa was just saying, no. She didn't talk about it. She didn't talk about it at all. Sad. I'm gonna do a sad face. You know? It, it is sad. It's it's just so sad. All right, so I was just on a rant real quick. I didn't say anything about the bullet points, and we're like 12 minutes in the show. Bullet points. First bullet point is accepting your diagnosis, which that's pretty much what we've already talked about, so I guess I can move on to the uh, next bullet point, which is not settling. Not settling. And the third bull bullet point is fight regardless the circumstances. So going back to the second bullet point, because we hit accepting the diagnose real hard within the first 12 minutes of the show. So you guys know that if you're sitting right now at home and you're like, uh, oh, okay, that's cool. About the new feature that if you touch someone's um, name, a comment box comes up. Ah, okay. Um, but you, dang, Jalissa, you just threw me off, sweetie. You did. You, you can't do me like that, sweetheart. Um, but, so you, um, yeah, you get diagnosed, you have to try to fight through that. The exception, that accepting point of the matter. It might take time. Heck, it might, it might take a year, you know, to get serious. It, it might take a year. It might take a few years. So you have to sit back and you have to, I guess, when it comes down to something like that, yes, you do need a support group, you know, around you to a degree. You do. Jalissa, look, Mario's uh, stating a great point. Maybe I should let you come up a little bit and you kind of explain a little bit what's going on, sweetheart. You know, yeah, maybe somebody can understand. Uh, give, a, give a little um, aspect of uh, how you, you know, how your, your situation was with trying to get better with it. Now, guys, we have to realize that when we ask other people how did we do it, that doesn't mean that if we apply it to our life, it's not going to work because sometimes when we do that, we want to go back and be angry at the person that sat and gave us the advice and we're like, it didn't work for me. 
And exactly, that is the thing. It didn't work for you. Not saying that it might not work for someone else that might to, might apply. And the thing about it is, don't just completely grab someone's advice. You know, kind of tailor it to yourself. Tailor it to yourself. And it might even work even flawlessly. Err. Not a word, I'm pretty sure, but it just came out. So, uh, but not settling. And not settling for a doctor sitting up telling you that your life is over. Not settling and having someone tell you that, dang, you're not the same person anymore. Miss Carrie, are you shy? Would you like to come up and, ex you know, not saying that you have to accept... And I get, let me explain what I mean about accepting the fact that you, uh, and you still might understand, Ms. Taylor, what I'm saying. You guys do know accepting the fact that you do have a diagnosis doesn't mean that you've lost. Doesn't mean that everything is over. I, I feel that society makes us believe if we accept the fact that we have lost but miss taylor do you mind coming up and talking even though you're shy you said but i would love to bring you up but it's not it's not a bad thing it's not a bad thing when you sit and you say hey all right i have this you i've been diagnosed with cancer so let's let me get down let me let me not settle God, you say your mom had it for 30 years? Miss Taylor, come on. Don't you want to come up? Don't you want to be a nice guest? You Don't you want to, you know, just tell you a little bit of your story. I'm not pushing you, kind of am. But um, if you don't want to, that's fine. I can keep going. I can keep trucking. Uh, let me know while I'm talking, and I would try to bring you up. And maybe you can tell a little bit about um, your story. <laughs> no, you don't want to be on camera. That's fine. Um, you know, you can always do your voice. I forgot about that, guys. I keep forgetting about the fact that you guys can call in as well. Anybody can call in if they don't want to be on camera. If they still want to talk, they want to be kind of like a guest on the show, you can call in. And that's what all you have to tell me. Like, Leron, I would love to speak, but I don't want to be seen. But I would love to speak on the show. I would love to give my uh, point, my opinion. Can I call in? Oh, wow. Miss Taylor? Okay, is that the only person? There you go, Miss Jenny. Hey, did you see what did you see what Miss Jenny just said, Miss Taylor? It's right there. That's exactly what I was trying to get to. Hey, Miss T, accepting Acceptance helped me realize I could do most of what I wanted to do. Just sometimes it had to be modified. Exactly. You want to talk, Miss T? You want to call in or would you like to be on as a guest? And a video. I've seen you do videos here lately. And I'm proud of you. You know, everybody doesn't have to do videos. You don't have to do videos at all, guys. Just posting inspirational things is awesome, and I've seen you guys do it. Yeah, you can be on camera. You want to be on camera, Miss T? It's fine. Anybody. Just let me know if you would like to. Um. But yeah, so not settling. That's once you get that acceptance in and... Like Miss Jenny was saying, it allows you to tailor your life, tailor your circumstances around what's going on because now you know what you're dealing with. When you're sitting up here and you're in denial, all right, Miss T, give me this, um, see if I can get you on here. You're able to look and you're like, bam, all right, so maybe I am going to get a treatment. Maybe I'm not. Then if I do get a treatment, I know I got to get the treatment like this, 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 or I got to take the, uh, 
Uh, well, give me one second, Miss Jessica. Uh, we got Miss T on the line. Hey, Miss T, how are you? I'm new with the computer stuff. You new? Hey, how are I'm you? Fine, but... My daughter, she's like, you're new at what? So if you hear a little background, it's my my uh daughter. my da <laughs> daughter in the background here. It's it's okay. She's like, daughter, spit it out, mom. They, they, we, we are very much on laughter and joking around here. What you, we don't take my, you? we take my MS serious, what but you? we don't let it get the best of Our me. class field trip is at like creation. So it's like, a lot of joking. Relax, can you hear me yes. okay? Yes, I can. Wrong. Yes. Okay. Now yeah, I, I should warn you, we've been in King. Sweetie. Some and Not so loud. Warm. I'll go oh, ahead. You can talk. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, what, you have to. Um, He's a you, reader. You, you, can't, need... you can't see it. You, you can't get vocal no, down right. with the no. seriousness. Too hard. Already? Too hard. Yeah. And I, I think there's a lot of us that get wrapped around how no, serious. Not saying that you don't right. want to worry about it. Not saying that you don't want to mm -hmm. focus on getting better, but yeah. if you focus too hard to where you're only looking at the bad side of what this illness is, if this illness is, you're not gonna get anywhere because you're just dumping weight on yourself, basically. Because yeah. I was stressing myself out. Cause I've only been dealing with this for two yeah, years yeah, now, yeah. and yeah, yeah. I still haven't started any treatment yet. I'm in the process of it right now since the seizure that I had last that put me in the hospital. That's what um, I've always wanted to know. Does anybody else deal with seizures? You know. Uh... The type of MS they I've come across uh, okay. I haven't had one in a while. I used to have I used to have one when I was young. And you know, let me let me knock on wood. I haven't I haven't had one, but I've had a lot of warriors tell me about situations with seizures. Lord look, y'all gave me confidence. I'm sitting up. This show y'all do some this does something for really? me. Really? I usually lay it around the Yes. I try to get on as much as possible and follow and keep up with stuff, but I get excited a lot and I'm still learning to control my body okay. with the anxiety. Okay. And my husband's always relax and rest. And the doctor's always like relax and rest. See, the MS came on. Like out of nowhere, all at once. There was no like warning of me being sick. Cause that's great that you said you haven't dealt with seizures in a long Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Well, well Miss Taylor, uh, not to inter uh, interrupt you, Miss T. Miss Taylor, when you say I guess, I've seen mm -hmm. it first and with my mom and brother. Are you saying? But um and I did see um Miss Taylor you just said that it's her birthday. And happy birthday to your mom, even though she's um gone, but she's not in pain anymore and you know, that's always a, a plus side about having someone um, that's especially dealing with these type of illnesses. Um, but um, Mr. Mario says that uh, with his first treatment, he had seizures, but he doesn't have it anymore. So, T, you, um, you, haven't, you haven't been on a treatment since you got diagnosed? Now they tried... This looks like the water since for the first time when it all happened at the very beginning and it was making my white blood cell count okay. get low. 
so my doctor immediately took me. Is that the medicine where they gotta watch you? Yeah, I didn't care for that. See, I didn't care for. You gotta monitor my heart just to see if I'm able to take the medicine. My heart is is pretty fine. So, uh, you know, I went along with it because I was new. Uh -huh. This was all new to me. We didn't uh -huh. have no direction of which way to go because I went to Cleveland Clinic when all this uh -huh. happened to me. They shipped me from West Virginia because they did a brain biopsy on me. I just, it was like I just caught a cold at work and I just thought I was weak and tired and sick because I woke at a homeless shelter i was the cook and i just assumed i was overworking myself and so between saturday with this happening and the weakness over the weekend and by monday morning i went to the er because my whole left side was weak like i had had a stroke mm -hmm. and my face was dry so when i got to the er they took me immediately in and admitted me, did the MRI, you know, the workup, the CAT scan, everything. And so when they realized, well, they were assumed what they were dealing with was MS and I had never heard of it. I just knew that Montel Williams had That's it. so weird. Everybody, so, that's the one thing. Everybody, when yeah, they talk about MS, is what that's they That's the one thing. <laughs> And, and 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 I was I was like I don't you know looking at my husband my older son you know we was hit with a train break I'm like so do we get this brain biopsy because they made it like that was mandatory it would help answer some questions they did it and when they did it it was like my whole left side I'm sorry let me back up. I don't want to get this out of order. My left side was getting weak, so they put me on uh -huh. steroids. And it was to the point of almost not moving. So they, uh, sorry, Devon, I got it, you <laughs> It's the man on the, uh, it's the court. It's the court. I have a dog, and he always spends a long time. And I'm sorry about that. Um, they did the biopsy. And after the biopsy, I was off the steroids. So my whole left side was like really paralyzed. Uh -huh. The doctor told me that he hadn't uh -huh. seen nothing but two cases of multiple sclerosis like this. And they wanted to send me somewhere where I could get care from doctors that Not knew more about what they were calling tumor effective multiple sclerosis. Okay. So, okay. I, they transferred me in an ambulance to Cleveland from West Virginia. We got to Cleveland and I don't know about anybody else's experience, but mom was like being on the show house. Have you ever seen that show, House, where the doctor yes. yeah. that has a team yes. of yeah. doctors? That's how it was. And it was uh, they came and got me off the ambulance. And the one thing that did to diagnose me was a spinal tap. Did you have to get anything yes, like um, that? Yes, that's one of the main kind of... Uh... Uh, yeah. things that everybody had to do um, before they like say yeah you are mm -hmm. you, you have a mess yeah and I had to get that done twice more MRIs and so it came back that it was a type of a mess so they decided to give me solumedrol okay. and an IV and I don't know if you saw on my other page like it took, it was supposed to be a five day treatment. And on the third day, I was able to move my left arm. So I was getting feeling back in my 
left side by this okay. time. And the beat goes on. I don't want to draw this story out very long. Oh, no, you're good. But... Um, am I listening? Okay, I just listening. feel like I take so long. No, listen long. to you. Oh, not, I got it mm -hmm. now. But, yeah. I think uh, Mr. Sid has been messing with me so much that now that I, I get on, I got little <laughs> critters up in my nose. <laughs> Lord, well, my daughter right here, I'm surprised she ain't said something to put me on blast yet. <laughs> she's very outspoken. But. You'll tell me in a minute, Mom, wipe your nose. <laughs> well, you know, so we're we're at that second bullet point where you don't, you don't need to mm -hmm. settle. And um, what you're going through right now and in, in the, in the fact that you haven't been put on a um, a different treatment yet that gives a lot of um a push yes. into Option. yeah of uh, saying that you know, i give up oh no no, I will no never not, give say, up. not saying you not saying you i'm just saying and i'm just speaking yeah. i'm just speaking yeah. to any any and everybody everybody that's watching being in a situation like that, being in a lot of all situations which are different, it does give you that it, that pushing point to where it breaks. And you, I don't care what nobody says, who's ever watching this, I know you've been pushed to that point where you just said, I can't, I, I, I can't do it. It might have been for a second. But if you haven't, you know what? Kudos to you. I take my hat off. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I've been there a couple of times, way before I got to who I am now. And I feel that's what got me to where I am now. Those breaking points, going through those storms and, and getting to the point to where I had to find something outside of listening to what a doctor is telling me. Rel relying on people around me to get strength. I had to find it in myself. And a lot of that is realizing, kind of like what Jimmy said, is once you, once you accept the fact that this is going on with you, then it prepares you to be ready for my, uh, for the third bullet point, which is fight regardless of the circumstances. You know what I'm saying? So, exactly. So I, 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 I can meet, totally you. I can meet you with what you're going through. I don't. Please, please do not, do not let go. Do not give up. Um, regardless how hard this thing hits you, um, it. Oh no. Okay, there. You, you got this. Am I, yeah. Am I still on there? Okay, my phone was talking about trying to reconnect. I'm like, well, I don't know why I went on. <laughs> I, I got four little ones right at home. I have five, but I still have four that's home, and everybody is, is milking the Wi-Fi like a cow right now. Olivia, so, I need help. This re game. <laughs> take, take that game to the edge of the bed for a second, okay? But, uh, we're gonna... Don't, no, no, but, uh, no, not to the edge, because the, the dog's gonna jump in here on the bed. Get down, sir. Well, I'm gonna see so if far. I can bring... Yeah, I know Miss Jessica was wanting to try to come up. I'm gonna see if she still wants to come up. Um, uh, but Miss T, y'all... Uh, okay. Yeah, like I was saying, you don't, don't allow what's going on. Um, it, it you gotta take it in. You know, you have to take it in. And, um, if you... Every, every once in a while, we have to cry about it if it gets to that point. You know, we have to have that brief moment of pity on the situation. But Stop that. don't never feel like you're here. not a fighter because you are. Because you've gotten to this point. And the fact that you've gotten to this point, you are one hell of a fighter and don't give up, okay? I never will. I will take it easy. I've been seeing everything. I've been tilting my head back trying to read. Some of the things everybody been typing, and I do realize, yeah, I do need to slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Because 
I get a little carried away. When you used to run back in the day and did a lot of exercise, you have to really realize that, okay, my body is really saying slow down. Yep. <laughs> Even if I am feeling this big yep. energy, slow down. Yep. So, I You're appreciate so you, LeBron. You really help out Quiddy way more than you know. Sometimes I can't always type to comment, but I finally made my big step by coming on and, and talking and getting my little story out there. That's the one thing that I haven't did. Yeah, so I've been seeing you, and I, like I said, I'm proud of you. I've been seeing you. Someone talk to you guys, and y'all help out a whole lot. I go in that doctor's office like okay we got this this and this and this causes this side effect so this is out the question so it helps to get involved and be able to know about what you're dealing with when you all suggest stuff i appreciate all you guys and you women more than you know sweet okay thanks for you, having you me. welcome you welcome if you need me at any time don't i'll be, be back to message <laughs> I sure won't. All right. People always want right. to text you when you get on live. It's, that's my cue to go. <laughs> Thanks, sweetie. Peace and blessings okay. to you. <laughs> Bye. Okay. Bye-bye. <Okay. laughs> <Okay. laughs> yeah. I'll see. It's just like uh, Miss T basically uh, said, wait us in to that last bullet point the fight regardless the 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 circumstances and um what was that hold on guys oh okay um yeah so you you can't regardless of how hard it is um, Miss Jessica, are you still on? If you're still wanting to, I can bring you up, Miss Jessica. Uh, we still have a little, a, a, a great bit of time left. Um, but you don't have to, um, hold on guys. Sorry. Uh, oh, okay, Miss Jessica. Give me one second. Let me see if I can find you here. Bring Miss Jessica on. Somebody sent me a message, guys. And hopefully Miss Jessica can, can come up. But, uh, and, Ms., and guys, when you come on, you know, you have to kind of turn your phone, uh, you got to let the rotated thing up. Oh, there she goes. Hi. I think. Hey, Miss Jessica, how are you? I am fine. I am hey. doing very, very well. So what do you have for me today, mm -hmm. ma'am? Very well. Well, I would like to share with all of us warriors the information mm -hmm. I found out. Essential oils have really helped okay. me a lot. And, and I would like to share that with everyone. Um, it helps me with the pain. It helps me with focusing. It helps me with just being able to now, cope, when you, it helps when you say you essential express. oil, you know, because some of us actually really All don't know what that okay. is. Can you explain a little bit more? Um, yes. Um, there is quite a few different companies uh -huh. out there that deal with oils. You have to be careful because there are some of them that are not 
really legitimate. Um, I am working with a company called Young Living. You can look it up, Google it. Um, but I do basically get the oils from that company. It's a very reputable company. And with that, I basically looked up what I could do for MS. I looked up what I could do for fatigue, for migraines, for stress everything and yeah okay. it it has really helped me a well, lot and oh uh, what did i saw what are you it doing helps me with walk. it are you um are you rubbing it on yourself do you is it something that you can take um uh -huh. it is it is i use the oils in a mixture and i rub it on my okay. legs and feet which are my problem area. Um, I also take a Super B supplement. There's some other supplements that can be taken. Um, there's some that I put in a diffuser, and I just so you just all, all going throughout out, the day, basically. So I'm breathing you're just it. All functioning woman here. I see. Ah, okay. Now you said something about a. A link. Can you? Are you like able to? Um, can you send it either to me by messenger, but um, possibly also if you could? Are you are you on your phone or are you on a computer? Ah, so are you able? To, I am um, on my put tablet. It in the um, comment as well, possibly. Or if you do it, okay. I, yeah, I okay. can put the name of the company. Okay. And then you can Google it, okay. and it will come up. Okay. So, yeah, I, I use Young Living. So, you guys, so you guys that's something very that's interesting that, uh, that Ms. Here. Jessica is um, talking about and giving us information on is the she said young living is the company and they do oils that are um good for symptoms and whatnot that we are dealing with and there are so many other things and that's the thing about us doing doing the right oh, there are. research what we're doing a lot of us is doing the wrong research. And when I say wrong research, is the researching of is how many people have MS and what's going on with people with MS. And so when we look at stuff like that, you get those bad stories. You get those stories where everybody is just so, uh, and you're like, oh my God, is that going to happen to me? And it's possible for you to visit that within yourself, but dreading on it, before it even happens, it's not a great thing because sometimes you can bring that to yourself earlier than it's supposed to be. And I think that's where we get off right. wrong when it comes to this illness. Right. We don't really understand the fact that if we go and look for the bad and get so depressed with the bad that we are bringing the bad to us faster than the bad should be coming towards us. I don't know if that makes sense or not, guys. Well, it makes sense to me. I know when I got really depressed um, and started uh -huh. thinking about the things that I was not able to do and started dwelling on that, exactly. it made matters worse. So now, when I wake up in the morning, I immediately think See, of the things that I exactly. can do. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that, Ms. Jessica said, when she gets up in the morning, forget about the fact that maybe 20 years ago I used to run a marathon and I was always first. I used to turn around and I used to pick at people, you know, matter of fact, <laughs> you 
used to have water, supposed to be like th three minutes behind me, five hours, and I used to be awesome to now that the fact that I could just walk to the bathroom and use it my on my own accord, that is, uh, do you know how awesome that is? And we do not. We, Important. Yes. We, I don't. It we is. Don't it is very look awesome. It as being something great. Guys, wake up. Wake up. I'm going to just be honest with you. I'm it like Jessica. It is. It is. And here's the big thing. My 10-year-old little boy and my four, soon-to-be five-year-old little girl congratulate me. Congratulate me when I am able to get wow. up and walk even with a walker, to go into the kitchen to make them something to eat or to go to the bathroom or, you know, just to get up and walk across the room. They congratulate yeah. me. They're, Good job, Mom. Great. That's wonderful. You know, they, they get excited when wow. they see me get up and do things because to them, that is their mom fighting this horrible yes. disease that they heard so many bad things about and yep. seen people not able to cope. But their mama is doing it. And so if I can do it, and, and it is. everybody and out there with this if disease you sit and can. Say, well, you're not me. You're not me. You're not me. No, we're not each other. No, we're not each other. But still, that doesn't mean that you cannot. Yeah. You cannot fight. And you might not be able to walk like how many Miss Jessica is walking. You know, you might be in a wheelchair. But guess what? That doesn't mean that you you can't wake up in the morning. Be happy that you're able to move your hands, which you're able to move your wheelchair because there's a lot of folks that can't really even do that. They're in a motorized chair. Because they, they can't do any of that. So we're so focused on what we can't not used to do rather than what we are able to do now. And it's accepting the fact that we do have a disease and not saying that we can't get back to a point to where we're great, where we're able to possibly run some type of marathon or move our arms in a, in a, in a way where we're, we were able to use them back in the days. It's not saying that we can't get back there. Do not, do not not focus on trying to get some type of normalcy back in your life, but don't get upset when that's not coming. And find something different. That's right. You know, over, over, overstep that's that right. and grab something different in your head. Like she just said, the fact that I can get up in the morning and just walk just a little bit. Oh, man. I might be hurting. I might be tired. Mm -hmm. That's a win-win for me. So. That's true. And my husband is right there supporting, helping, doing everything he can to so, and with that Walk being said, Jessica, too. I so. do have to bring up a sad point where, like in my case, having to step away from my family due to the fact that, um, right, yeah, you we don't have it happened. I didn't and have it that. Is sad. Um, it's a lot of us out here, actually, a lot of us that's watching right now, mm -hmm. that's going through that, that's going through the kids, where we had last uh, Monday, where a child was like, basically saying, Mom, you're lazy. And so to hear and see that, yeah, that is going to push you down. Yes, that's going to drag you down. I'm going to be blunt and say it. <sighs> Sometimes you have to leave and divorce people just like I had to divorce my family, basically. Um, you know, I told my son today, that's the reason why I had to leave. 
I was great. I had got to a point to where I am now to get caught back up with my family because I loved my family and I wanted to be with my family, but realized that my family was toxic for me. My my family. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's true. And it is with it's other diseases, mental with MS. diseases it's and with everything. Other diseases hey, too. And it can bring you down, especially if you're a loving, caring person that believes in family. So you get wrapped up in it. You can't leave because if you leave, then you feel you feel that you're letting yourself down and you're letting everybody else down. If you're in that situation right now, I'm not telling you to leave, but I'm telling you to look at your situation and find better ways to cope. And sometimes that's what we have to do. We have to leave toxic situations, whether it's family or if it's just friends. Because if a friend is bringing you down as well, why are you giving your all to this person? And it's easy said and done. I understand that. Uh, right. I, I do. A real uh, friend. Well, eight years. It took me eight years before I was able to jump and say, I can't do it anymore. So I get it. Yeah. A real friend is the one who's going to say, okay, you're having difficulty sweeping your floor. Let me come help you with that. Your real friend is the person who's going to say, yes. I'll be more than happy to drive you to go yes. to the doctor's appointment or to do whatever. A real friend is the one that says, I'd be more yes. than happy to watch kids for a couple hours. Girl, so you keep going, man. Hey, keep going. What, what, you got some more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could go on and on and on. But you know what, Lauren? I'm, I'm also going to throw this out there. As a warrior, as a person who has been through losing friends because of this disease, if you need a shoulder to talk to, and this is for everybody out there, if you need a shoulder to cry on, you need somebody to talk to, I'm here. I don't work during the day, so I'm home I'll, pretty I'll much like every day. Let me know. If you need a prayer, let me, let me, you know, make, let let me, me know. Make a, let me make a public apology because to everybody. I'll pass. Um, on. Me, because what I am doing and me doing, um, I, I know you guys see me on the Monday and Friday. Um, and then I do a show outside of MS because I love relationships. Um, which that doesn't mean that you guys can't watch on Sunday. Um, then I'm working. And so then I have, I can be the mess, which I am really basically trying to, uh, mold into a um, non-profit organization where I can help not only myself but everybody else um, in, in, in so many great ways. You know, I have great plans, great dreams uh, from it. So I'm kind of spreading myself out thin. And so if you guys have connected with me in, so, in, in a way to where we're, we have talked and, and you guys – miss our communication outside of the shows and stuff and I'm not being able to contact. I do apologize. It's not that I've started something and I've said, hey, forget you. I'm finna go to somebody else. But no, do never feel like that. That is not the case. Um, because I, it might not seem like that, but I'm finna be real honest and serious. The reason why I do what I'm doing is because Everyone that I've met, even though I don't see, and it's just comments, you guys have some part of my heart, and I do this because I want to better not only my life, but your guys' life. I see the pain, not only because I go through it, because I see people, and how Jessica just stated what she stated about you guys reach out i feel that's what i can beat ms is i can beat ms is not only here for me to bless one person but once i bless that one person 
they can bless other people. You know, you guys don't really have to, even though I love right. the exactly. fact that you guys love me like that, I, you know, it's, it's kind of strange for me still to this day that you guys look at me the way you look at me. But the fact that other people are stepping up and saying, hey, my door is open as well, please. When they say that, don't hesitate um, because their advice might be even a little bit better than mine. And I am going to stay. Oh, I don't know about that. You do, you do a lot of research. <laughs> but still, it's so I, I care very, I care very much about this. And, you know, I just want you guys to know that I'm, you know, I'm really trying my heart to um, get this off and running. And hopefully I'm able to not only do this on Facebook, I'm able to do this in a uh, personable um, fashion. Um, that's a goal where not only are you able to see me here on the screen, that you're able to see me personally somewhere. And um, so, Miss Jessica, I totally appreciate it. Miss T, I totally appreciate it. Um, I try my best to see if I can keep this now at an hour. Uh, even though, um, like T was saying, this episode was wonderful, and I am glad that we are um, understanding. And Miss Taylor, you are you you hit those points where you were talking about, and to know that your brother and your mom, I'm hearing that a lot now. Oh, my mom had it. Oh, my sister had it as well. Oh, now I got it. And then, hey, mm. by the way, my daughter has it too. I got a call coming in. Um, but our bullet point for the night, guys, was um uh, oh I'm sorry. I'm sitting up here. Miss Jessica, I do apologize. Let me let you go. <laughs> Thank you so much though. That's all right. That's all right. I'm glad. I am glad if I was able to help anyone out there. Just just remember, my door's open. Send me a, a friend request. I don't have my know. little I'm here for you. To... Okay. So you're going to have to exit out for me. I, I don't have it I anymore. Do. But <laughs> Miss T, I, I, I love I you will. as well. I forgot I to will. tell you that. And Miss Jessica, I love I you will. too. And, and, and thank your husband for being so great. And also tell, them, tell your kids, I appreciate them pushing you as well. So they have a fan over here with me. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great evening. <laughs> yeah, that X, man. The X is up there, but it, for some reason it doesn't uh, want to work right. So our bullet points today, guys, was accepting your diagnosis, which we hit that hard at the beginning of the show. Um, then we got not settling. You may go the divorce route, Ms. Ms. Taylor. Yeah. Um, I can say that, uh, which I am definitely going to get next Friday, guys. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what the show is. I already know I don't have to. Sometimes I, I have to, I'm researching stuff, and then I don't get it until Thursday, majority of the time. But I already know what I'm talking about. Heartfelt Friday uh, with Fierce Friday is um, relationships. I can say that... Um, Miss Mason has been very, uh, has, has been very, has, has been very, uh, oh, she, she got me blushing here and, and I'm not even looking at her. Uh, she's been very important to my strength with me, um, proceeding on getting better, looking at, uh,
Miss Taylor, I just seen your text. Your comment. Really? You can't end the show like that, Miss Taylor. Cause then that makes me wanna. It makes me wanna get into it. Uh, get into that as well. But I can't. But the relationship status of uh, how a lot of people with MS are coupling, you know, are, are coupling together. So, um, yeah, I'm hitting that next Friday. How MS has basically started a relationship thing. It's amazing. Uh, it's like five couples I know now offhand that I can tell you about, which I can't because I don't know how they will feel, but five couples I can tell you about right now that um, mm. that mm. I can miss. Hold on, guys. Hey, Miss 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 Barbara. Yeah, hello, Hodge. How are you? I'm I'm still I'm still on live. I'm gonna hit I hit you a little bit later. Okay. That was another MS warrior. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, see, I told you my door was open. Uh, but um, so yeah, next Friday we're gonna hit on the fact that MS is not only. Uh, brought a change in your life has actually brought people together. There's there's even groups, MS single groups, where we're getting it's because, you know, if you really look at it, we know each other better. Um and it's not even outside of knowing Miss Mason due to the fact that she's had MS I wanna say 10, 14 years. Mm. Um more than me, longer than me. Uh, what time? It is going to be on the same time, like always, seven o'clock. But um, yeah, yes, you. We connect on other places, so. I. Paul, I have one, and even though she laughs and picks at me on this show, I I have one. And guess what, Miss Paul, Miss Mason, can, even though she doesn't, I don't know. Well, she shows it on Instagram that all her lovely array of food that she does, uh, she cook. I'm just waiting to get there to get it, the the food. That didn't sound right, but the food. I can't wait to get there to get the food. So, um, yeah, Friday, that's what we're doing, guys. So if you guys were watching this on YouTube, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And there's that uh, lovely previous episode right here. And you know what happens when I have to get close. To the screen. I'm talking to you guys that are watching Facebook on Facebook right now. Not only should you go and like the I Can Beat MS page, um, because it it allows what I'm doing and trying to do be seen in a, a very wide range. Because the options that Facebook has once you reach a certain level. Um, of followers and you know to be honest with you you guys don't have to like the page but just the fact that how you follow now um go ahead and, and follow i can be the mess uh go to youtube and subscribe to the youtube channel make some comments let me know how i'm doing 
Hey, matter of fact, if you think you got an idea for a show, you want to hit me up on it, feel free. Because I don't knock anybody down. And I, I welcome stuff. And I constructive criticism. You can sit up here and say, dude, your show was horrible last time. It might hurt. I might cry. I might go in the corner for a brief moment. It might sting. But I love the feedback. Because then, you know what? I will come back the next time and I kick your butt because the next show will be awesome. And then you'll be like, yo, that's what I'm talking about, Laron. That's what I'm talking about. Whoa! Yeah. Y'all don't know me like that. And on pause. Frozen, maybe. But yeah, um, I think our I, I think the disease has has made me a stronger person and, and open for a relationship as well. Uh, we have our uh, you have your your situations with both people having MS. And you're going to have your down days. Hell, both Miss Mason and I might be down at the same time. Uh, what we're going to be able to do if one of us got to go to the bathroom and, and we can't get each other up. You just got to do what you got to do. We just got to clean the bed later. It's probably kill me from saying that. Uh, I'm not saying that we do stuff like that. But, hey, you cannot tell me that we're not out there. Sometimes, well, it's that's part of the illness where you can't control your 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 bowel movements, your 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 um your usage of uh, being able to urinate. Cause there for a minute, I couldn't urinate for a while. Well, I could, but it took like an hour. I'd be like on a in a tight, like a tight tight, like early in the morning tight. Got to go to the bathroom, man. I have to sit up there in stand and put my hand up on a wall and to the point that I have to sit on the toilet because I can't pee. I'm in there for almost 20 minutes, can't use the bathroom. But it's better now. Um, I don't know what's the difference or what happened between that, but um, I think I just took that 10 minute, uh, 10 seconds up. Um, yeah, so going back to it again, guys, I have to rewind myself. Subscribe button right there for YouTube watchers. Um, Re, um, previous episode right here and thank you guys for watching I totally appreciate it this was an awesome show and I thank my guests I love you guys I love you very much and I will try my best to make this even better than what it is so all I ask is if you take something from me take take Whatever I'm doing to bless you guys, because you, you, you swear that I am, and I'm not saying that I'm not. I'm just not used to it. I'm still not used to it. But if I am blessing you, take that same blessing and go out and bless somebody else. It doesn't have to be video-wise. It can be just writing a blog. It can just be actually going out and touching someone. It could be just, it might not even be someone that has MS. Just go touch someone. Let them know that they're special. Let them know that they do not have to sit in the darkness for the rest of their life with their disease and maybe they can become someone not only for themselves heck they might come back 10 time folds on you and help you out so hey guys if you missed it you can always hit the rewind button go ahead and rewind and start it over if you've seen it if you want to watch it over again, we'll watch it over again. I got to share this. I got to download. I got to put it up. So, guys, with that being said, I love you. Jadim. That means I love you in French. Peace. When you sit up there, you have one hell, hell of an exit like that. And the finish button, when you press it, it don't work. You, what else, what other show like this is, is real like this where you you can't you, you can't fake <laughs> you can't fake your mess ups. Bye guys. <laughs> I'm still trying to hit this finish button.